837 this morning. Coming up, a master of illusion set to be joining us live here in studio. You know him, you see him there on your screen where he saw, saw Shuck coming up in just a bit live in studio. Welcome back. We've got a special guest here in studio this morning. Some call him a master of illusion. Welcoming in magician Murray Shawshuk uh -huh. here to talk about I know you've got a trick up your sleeve. Yes. But when it comes to masters of illusion, mm -hmm. you've got that title, I'm sure, holding it near and dear to your heart. People here on the CW will be actually be able to catch you not only here live this morning, but a little bit later this weekend, right? Yes, yeah, on Saturdays and evenings, you know, um, we're, we're our eighth season now of Masters of Illusion, wow. which is amazing. And over 43 different magicians from all over the world, Japan, China, Russia, here in the States, Canada, you know, so it's pretty cool and we've all become friends over the last you know, eight years. Wow. You know, so it's kind of neat. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. For those that only not only want to catch you this weekend, but mm -hmm. uh, on the CW, yep. they could see you live and in the flesh up on stage. Let's yeah. talk about that. Yeah, we're right? over at the Tropicana uh, weekly at four o'clock. I'm also the guest star in Fantasy over at the Luxor with my wife, Danny. So, wow. so uh, we're lucky doing a couple of shows a night each, uh, you know, each and every day. And, uh, and we always try to make things different. I always try to come up with new ideas and new things because, like anything, you kind of get tired of the old stuff, you know? So I'm always trying to invent something new or create something different and new for, you know, for everybody. With right? creating something different and new, do you have a couple of tricks? Sure, I got a trick. You want to see one? I yeah. do, I so do. So I randomly brought this with me, okay. right? So, and so it's a little red ball. Every magician has a little splint ball. Okay. I don't know why. It's a thing. <laughs> if you're a magician, you kind of... You're, you're, so I'm going to take my hand like this. I'm going to put this into my fist like this. Now, okay. I'm going to ask you a question. If I do this... How um, many, uh, first of all, what color is the ball and uh, how many do I have in my hand? Well, one red ball is okay. what I saw. So if I do this, see. Okay. And then of course I have a square, there's no <laughs> ball doll, there's nothing at all. So you gotta pay attention, this is your morning magic. I was watching you! This is where we're at, sponge magic at this time in the morning. This is, this is as far as we get, so, yeah, so. You know, to a, you're a long time local to this community, speak to the other, the families mm -hmm. out there, yeah. little ones, even adults who are interested in mm -hmm. taking a life path similar to yours. Yeah, you know, I, I, when I started magic, I went to the library. Yeah? <laughs> One of those big buildings with paper books, <laughs> you know, before the internet was around. So I, I got to read a lot of tricks and learn things. Now it's great because you have the internet, you know. Yes. You can go on YouTube, you can learn a bunch, you can learn more things than you ever dreamed of, you know. So I suggest going to a library, getting a book. My book I started was a book called Mark Wilson's Course in Magic. You can wow. buy it on Amazon. It's a big kind of book with pictures and descriptions and it's kind of fun because you and your your kids or grandkids or friends or cousins or nephews or nieces can actually learn together. It's kind of a fun thing. You actually make the tricks at home with glue, scissors, paper. So yeah. You know, continue that conversation. We get to speak to a lot of very successful people here on this program. When it came to those dreams of yours, did you ever imagine seeing your name in those lights on the Las Never. Vegas Never. You know, it's funny. I was just over at the uh, red carpet. We were talking for Matt Apple for Circuit. Yeah. I was sitting there, and I was thinking, how cool is it? I'm doing Tropicana, and then la later in the evening, I had to bump across to Fantasy of the Luxor and do a show <laughs> with my wife. I'm like, how lucky I am. I'm really from Vancouver, Canada, so I'm very, yeah. you know, all of us are to be here in the entertainment capital of the world doing what we love. How lucky are we? You yes, know? So yes. you got to remember those uh, those times, you know, when you're having good or a bad day, you got to go, wow, we're really lucky to be doing what we do. You know? And I mean, that fame was shot too, in part by AGT, right? Oh, yeah, years ago, you know, we were on our fifth season when I did that, Vanished to Train and the Tiger Trick and all that. And then, then of course, from there, we, I got to go on Pawn Stars, which I've been on that yes. show for like, what, 15 seasons yes. now. And the guys are all dear friends of mine. So Vegas has been very good to me, you know, oh, so. Well, congratulations. Yeah. We'll get everybody connected with how they can catch you with your show, not yes. only with Masters of Illusion this weekend here on the CW. That'll be tomorrow airing at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central Time, of course, and on our website, news3lv.com, when it comes to those tickets to get you over at the drop. Yes. All right. Thank Let's, you again. Of course. Let's take you over to the live.